We are now just less than five months away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by writer and director J.J. Abrams as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to have a lot of connections to the prequels and the originals in ways that we would have never imagined before in the sequel trilogy with The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi that are now being implemented into Episode 9, also known as The Rise of Skywalker. Now, on top of all of this, we do know that this film is going to really detach itself from the past two movies and to really take a lot of risks to really introduce new types of Star Wars lore. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to various shot descriptions of the upcoming movie, this is where things begin to get very exciting. Now, specifically, shot descriptions consisting of a sequence based in the third act of the film, where it's explained that both Rey and Kylo Ren are engaging in a lightsaber duel during one of their flash fights, where it's said that one of the sequences is said to involve a moment where they fight in black space on a metallic bridge, where many visions of the past are seen in the background. Now, it's described that the visions of the past include elements of the franchise in between the originals and the sequels, where one of which is said to involve an older version of Luke Skywalker on Octu, where he is said to be meditating with tons of boulders flying around him as he meditates on the edge of a cliff. It said that this was the original ending of The Force Awakens that is being reworked now into the form of a vision in the background that passes by, as both Kylo Ren and Rey duel in their complex flash fight. Another sequence is said to involve a moment where where both Darth Vader is described to be in the background, standing on the edge of his fortress on Mustafar, with a spew of lava seen in the background. It's described that as this all happens, Rey and Kylo Ren are still fighting each other with their lightsabers during their flash fight. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, flash fights, we've been talking about this for a solid three months now, and a lot of people have mixed reactions on this, which is perfectly natural because, well, anything new that enters the Star Wars franchise, a lot of people are going to be very skeptical about it, right? So if you are new and you're just tuning in, flash fights are going to be a mixture of force backs, uh, flashbacks, flash forwards, force bonds, and throwing in an actual lightsaber duel into the mix, where we're going to see the iconic moments of the Skywalker saga flow in the background. However, in this scenario, it's said to actually give us brand new experiences that we have never seen before on the big screen, one of which is said to include Darth Vader standing on the edge of his castle, also known as his fortress, on Mustafar. Now, what's great about this is that we've never seen anything like this per se in the Skywalker saga as of yet. Yes, we've seen Darth Vader's fortress in Rogue One. Yes, we've seen Darth Vader inside of his fortress, but we never got to see Darth Vader actually standing on the edge, the platform of the actual castle itself, the bridge, if you will, that leads to the doorway that then leads to his back to tank. So that's going to be used in the background as well as one element of Luke Skywalker where he's lifting tons of boulders on Octu. Now this is said to be the original ending of The Force Awakens that is now being reworked into Episode 9 in case you guys did not know. There was an original ending for Episode 7 that was never made to the final cut of the movie where Rey finds Luke, and she actually witnesses him lifting tons of different boulders and rocks as he looks out to the ocean of Octu on the edge of that cliff. So that's being reworked into Episode 9 now as well. Now, what I love so much about this is that, unlike the other Flash fights where you have the iconic moments from the Skywalker saga, this is giving us brand new experiences that we have never seen before in the Star Wars movies. Experiences that take place in between Episodes 6 and 7. All right, so giving us different visions, giving us different views of the Skywalker saga, right? And it's also giving us other elements that take place even before the original trilogy. That's where the Darth Vader standing on the edge of Mustafar comes into, into the equation here. Whereas the other one of Luke standing on the edge of a cliff, lifting up the boulders, that's one of the great examples of using material in between episodes 6 and 7. And the Darth Vader one being, of course, sometime after Order 66, standing on the edge of Mustafar. The forest castle. Now, what I like about this too is that this is also giving us little brief glimpses into Vader's life and Luke's life, pretty much showing us exactly what they went through, you know, throughout different ages of their lives and how that's going to be explored in the background of episode nine. So, the flash fights they're said to have complex visual effects, you know, hours upon hours of man hours, right, working into the CGI and working into the special effects. 
you can only imagine why it's taking them so long is because that's the very reason. They're not just using older material, they're creating brand new material for the Rise of Skywalker that fans have never seen before on the big screen. So Vader and Luke, by far the most popular characters in the Star Wars franchise, being used in the flash fights I think is a step in the right direction by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ, and even George Lucas. We gotta give a lot of credit to George Lucas, he is the man who started this franchise. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.